kitchen. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy wonders. <laughs> So much fun to go trick or treating with everyone. Let's take a look in a haunted house. But I'm not scared, can't say the same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Gets up and walks. You have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an arr. There's so much fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Don't forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Hop, hop, Halloween, Halloween lights. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Oh, who's that? Devo, let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Fluffy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you. Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark. I can show you! 
But one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, Rog, look out! Whoa! Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up, rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. <laughs> really, Debo? You have echolocation too? Because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's play! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flight, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. You sleep upside down? Whoa! Bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. There, all finished. Carve away, Tabs. That's very nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And that's... <laughs> Tabs. I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? Oh, <laughs> thank you! I wonder, how do you throw the best Halloween party? Oh, I know, I know! I'm a Halloween expert! First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky! You know what else we need? Halloween snacks for everyone. How about worms? Gummy worms. Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes. And a finishing spooky touch. Halloween fruit punch. Now we just need Halloween costumes. I'm going as a pirate. Yar! I'm a construction worker. Nice avocado costume tabs. Dressing up is so much fun. Ooh, our guests. Right on time. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. Wait a minute. Just one guest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, witches do entrance and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've 
ever seen must be Halloween. My very first Halloween party. <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends. And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters. Because it's Halloween. Of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick-or-treat. Did somebody say trick-or-treat? Whoa. Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food! Ha! <laughs> well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go. Whoa. Boo. <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost. Whoa. <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa. And now a chef. <laughs> so cool. Boo. Our costumes are ready. Time for the next step. Containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails. Hey, yeah! Trash bag! Ooh, my first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets. A glowing ghost. Fun! Okay. <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Come on! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Trick, Trick or, or treat! treat. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Halloween. Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween. Whoa! Those scare me every time. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Look, look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then, walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say, trick or treat, to get goodies in return! And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! 
a haunted house. Whoa! Look at all the decorations. So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder what's inside a haunted house. Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! Whoa. I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great. Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Ooh, wee! <laughs> turned into a slide! <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Whoa! Sorry! Don't worry! It happens all the time to Bones! Maybe he's seen Tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you! Whoa! Whoa! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa! Maybe that flying ghost knows where Tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall. Whoa! Blippi, you made it all the way through my haunted house. The tricks are over, but now it's time for the treats! But wait, I still haven't found Tabs. <laughs> Tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating Tabs ghost. Upload answer, Tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> Me too. I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween. Wow, look at all the jack-o'-lanterns. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Hi, Blippi! Yikes! <laughs> oh, Oh, Mr. Pumpkin, you scared me. You're welcome, Blippi. I love to be scared. It's fun. <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm, okay. Let's do it. Yikes! Score one for Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. That's two points for Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Score one for Team Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> you got us good, Blippi! Yeah! 
Nice work, Debo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy, this is really going to scare them! <laughs> I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones, let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. Thanks. <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right! Halloween is the best! But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun! No problem, Flippy! I had a lot of fun, too! I love our cool Flippy-mobile! You're right, Debo! Our car does have amazing things! Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars! I'm gonna need helicopter blades! Helicopter blades confirmed! Activate Flippy Station! Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippy great-grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog! Seatbelts? Okay, let's go! To the top of that hill! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! Uh. Oof. Whoops! 
<laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Flippy. Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Oh, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you. Off to the nearest mouth. All right, I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Open wide! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> this is He's chewing way too fast! Following. Whoa! Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus. That's a fun word. E soph a gus. <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are ideal conditions. For a big old burp. Boobs away! Oh no! Hang on to your seats, everybody! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes, kidding! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Uh oh! Too much bouncing! It's gonna blow! Whoa! <laughs> the air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth! <laughs> whoa! Excuse me. Oh, yeah! Experiment complete! <laughs> that was so fun! And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance! Boom, check! Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm. I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea! Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> oh, 
Thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again! Oh. oh, thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder what kind of animals live in a rainforest. I'm going to need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bai, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. That's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream, unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, bye. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! 
Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo! Bubbles pop when you touch them! Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoobadoo poop. Voila! You make bubbles. And look how they float. Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap. That's right. Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. It's you. It is me. Just dip your hands in the water. Get them sized up on the soap. Make a circle with your hands and blow. Whoa, it's bigger than you. Check this out! Catch me if you can! <laughs> I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetables. Say hello to your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> 
Now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means his trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables! Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders. Fun in the sun? Here we come. Good idea, Tabs. I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh no, I can't find it. Hmm, I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no, is it really that important? What are we gonna do? No! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Hey there, Boom! Blippi! You can't go play yet! You missed a spot! Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made! Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no. That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippy Mobile. Go, Blippy, go! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoppa! Save that sunbather from sunburn! All right, Tabs. Let's protect some skin. Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! More to the right, Tabs! Now left! Yeah. 
We did it! Throwing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senior Super Sunscreen. And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Here, ducky, ducky. Here, little ducky. Whoa! Big ducky. Hang on, Debo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond. You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck's do paddle with her feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right. We have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. <coughs> it's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. <coughs> See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon! Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry. We have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. You can't catch me, Mika! Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel! Here I come! Whoa! whoa Watch out! Whoa! 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 A secret clearing! You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? Great question! Let's design it and build it. All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's gonna need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm, next we'll need a zip line. Whee! Ho <laughs> ho yeah! And a musical bridge. 
Yeah! Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Oh! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh, no! We better hurry. How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage. Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool. Two minutes until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit! pit. Wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippi. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! <laughs> it's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration! Yeah! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders! Sorry, Tabs! I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aww! What a tiny dinosaur! Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs! Let's go back in time and find out! Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs! Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, oh phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast! Oh no! My coconut shovel broke! Mine too! Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> Well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey, I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa, this hole is super tiny. Are you sure you can fit? Never fear, Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I 
can't believe it. <laughs> I'm free. Hooray. We did it. Roar. <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that. Wait. Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are. And we roar like this. Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! Debate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi Wonders! This is going to be the best English feast ever! I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh! Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa! Tabs! You look like a knight! Hmm, I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs! We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool! Can you show us what a knight does? Of course! I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right! Fire when ready! <laughs> Whoa! Was that a tomato? Probably. The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle. Take cover! <laughs> Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> are you okay? <laughs> yes. My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <laughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh. Terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Mmm, <laughs> a doggy dish. Sir Pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa, an English feast. I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea. Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippi and Lady Tabs. Wow, what an honor. And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome. Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer tabs. Farewell. Bye-bye, Sir Buttercup. Activate Blippi Station! 
It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Cannonball! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the shore! You're on! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose. <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I go! use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. Tembo! <laughs> we had such a blast! Mmm, I love chocolate! Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right! Dogs can't have chocolate, it hurts their tummies! Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! You're not Cocoa Beans! I need 
eat them so we can start making chocolate bars. <laughs> I'm not a bean. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. Hi, Blippi. Hi, Debo. <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. Our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Libby. Bye-bye. <laughs>